helpful. Bus, I would like it if you would leave. Hello, my historical fashion friends, and welcome to a quick little episode. I am almost done at the set, which you can see behind me, uh, but this wall is not finished yet. So I just wanted to do a quick little video in the interim while I'm finishing up all the other stuff I am working on for you all, including the 250 subscriber episode. And again, there's going to be some Q&A in that. I've gotten some questions already, but I would love to hear any questions you have for me uh, about sewing or cats or me, whatever. Uh, you can write them in the comments below or uh, hit me up on Instagram at gabrielle.westwood. So today's episode is about dyeing fabric with turmeric. As you know, I have wanted a yellow kirtle uh, and to have a successful yellow dye experiment, but my weld experiment didn't work out so well. And this time I was determined to succeed. And so I used turmeric, even though that isn't a dye that would be commonly used for uh, maybe an Anglo-Saxon culture of the early Middle Ages. I also want to try more dye experiments focused on uh, types of dye materials that my Lebanese ancestors would have had access to. And they definitely would have had access to turmeric and it created such a beautiful color. You can kind of see it behind me and I am in love with it, I adore it, and I am really excited to wear this garment now. So let's get to the quick video on my dye process. And remember, if you like videos about dyeing fabric, weaving, or historical clothing, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. So I did not pre-mordant my fabric. I just used hot water and created a paste with the turmeric to put into my hot water. I found that making a paste helps powdered dye stuff absorb more evenly and quickly into the larger vat of water. Then I just wet my natural linen kirtle, uh, which you've probably seen in a lot of episodes before. It was my first mock-up of a smock, which actually ended up being uh, better suited for an overdress. And once it was fully saturated with some warm water, I put it in the dye bath and it started to take color right away, which is the case with turmeric. Uh, if you've ever used turmeric, you probably have experienced it dyeing your skin or uh, random items around the house for quite some time, uh, especially like wooden spoons and stuff. And so I just let it sit for about an hour. Uh, I left it on the stove for about half an hour, then turned it off. And then the other half hour, it was just in the pot then I rinsed it off and I also used apple cider vinegar in the actual dye pot as well as a vinegar after bath in order to maintain the brightness of the color, especially considering that the water here at my apartment is very basic and can alter the color to be a warmer shade and I was going for a more bright yellow shade instead of an orange. And I left it out to dry overnight and ta-da! It is gorgeous and yellow and I am obsessed. Now I didn't rinse this out after doing the acid bath because I knew that as soon as it's getting washed with the more basic type of water it's going to change the shade and so I'm kind of holding off on that right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I wash it in the washing machine. This may have to be a hand-washed garment uh, for now on. But I love it. Let me grab it to show you. It is very, very yellow, like almost a neon yellow. And it's, it's similar to the color that the weld dye gave onto the dye stuff bag, which you know, makes me feel like, okay, this color is achievable if I want to use this for an Anglo-Saxon interpretation, but um, much less expensive than if I was to buy the correct amount of weld. So if you're looking for a great, quick yellow dye, 
Uh, look no farther than your spice cabinet. I am really pleased with this and I'm also making a new natural linen smock to replace this one that has more of a tapered sleeve and that will go under my Anglo-Saxon garments and will be used in a video coming up very soon on my new set. So let's take a moment to just revel in this absolutely gorgeous yellow. Um, the color is very even, which I'm happy with. And I'm just so excited to wear this. I am obsessed. And uh, I was thinking like if I wear this with my uh, red surcoat, I am definitely going to look like ketchup and mustard. As we know, it's a frequent theme on this channel of things looking like ketchup and mustard. And um, these colors are making me like really have like McDonald's ketchup and mustard vibes. Thank you all for watching this quick video and I look forward to seeing you next time.